Hey everyone, it's Farrick, and welcome to the first of many highlight videos of my Wizard 101 on a Budget walkthrough series. Before we get started, I just wanted to make an announcement on my brand new Discord server. Anyone can join, and the server is designed for us to form a community where people can share ideas or help each other in different aspects of this game. It will also serve as an area to get notifications or updates on anything related to my content. I also wanted to mention that I do stream this series live from 2 to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday, including Saturday at twitch.tv slash All the links will be in the description. Lastly, if you want direct notifications for when I upload, you can subscribe below and enable notifications. Around 64% of you are not subscribed, so if you like my content, remember, it's free and it really helps me out. The following footage was taken from 12 hours of gameplay. Michael Silverflame. Okay, what about that one? I feel like I feel like that one's all right. What do you, what do y'all think? Michael Silverflame. We're gonna go with that. So you get this like you get this wand so that you fizzle a little bit less, and like you get all the spells. All right. Anyways, uh, let's uh, let's get started. Something that was like, you know, something like where I don't have to deal with food and wash my hands like a million times a day. It's out of pity because we don't even have a teacher, dude. Our, our school is gone, man. Like, look at all these lucky people. They have like, they have their school and everything. It's gonna, it's gonna end up being 003, let me guess. Oh, no way I called it, dude. So you do have Wizards in the Mist. Yeah, let's do crafting. Missed wood. Miss Tangle Tree. Oh, with your first Daggers of Absolution, right? Yeah. Yo, this looks sick. Welcome to the stream. The craft one. If a brand new player was playing the game, they're not gonna be added by a bunch of level 130 wizards and be gifted stuff. So I want to do the same. I don't want to. And yeah, Mount Olympus gear, it's actually like really, really good for that level. Like last time I had a slower than 40% speed increase mount was probably eight years ago. Wait, what? I died? Wiz. Actually, while I'm while these animations are happening, I'm actually gonna log on to wizard101.com. Welcome to day two of Wizard 101 on a budget. I mean I'm probably dead anyways, right? Maybe? No, I think this does 95 damage minimum. Yeah, oh, it did 135. As you pour the potion into his. I, I remember! Tell him. Alright. I think that's the end of Firecat Alley. And I've just been so used to it's always having a thousand health at a time. I never really realized that it's so easy to die. How long will I use Heart Seal for? So. I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna end up using that thing all the way until I get to level 56. All right, we gotta free these kids. We gotta defeat this guy. Oh, did I really not kill him? Nine health, are you serious? Just use this to finish him off. Those health boost pets. Those are pretty crazy. And like, honestly, for the entire Wizard City, the best pet you could probably have is either an all damage pet or just to make the game easy. Literally just have a double resist all health pet. Thank you. That's insane. 50,000 gold for a chestnut pony. One thing they did train, they did change. Before you used to have to, you used to talk to Susie Griffin Bane and you'd have to rescue this guy. Now you talk to him lucky you came along. Something has broken and you have to save his sister like instead. Working. Dude, this image is sick. I will say that this is a pretty I can see cool her, image. Belloc. Um, that's that's probably not going to be possible for me to do. Wait, where is Susie? Is she right here? Whoa, this is new. What is this? Where am I even? Oh, I'm up here. Wow, this is definitely new. As they say, knowledge is once there. Search around the graveyard. Oh, it actually is a spell quest. But still, the balance is definitely one of the hardest will solve. There we go. I guess I have to have it enabled but four to calculate a death blades increase rather than, you know, reaching over on whatever desk my calculator is and typing in, you know, the same thing. So I 
I'm having a vision. What am I going to be spending my training points on? For now, I'm going to try to just spend them on ice to tower shield. And I really don't want to spend them too much. I'm lucky to be on a death wizard because you don't have to spend the training points on faint. New spell. What do I get? Hello there, Probably curse or something what? like that, right? I suppose I should get out more often. Oh, young wizard. oh sacrifice. Okay, that's the spell I get. Okay, so I've leveled up to level 10. I've officially unlocked Krokotopia as soon as I get to Bartleby. Well, tarnation, you oh yeah, that's right. I'm level 10. I have to I have to get Banshee. Vampire at level 16. I need you to go and make welcome to the third day of the wizard 101 on a budget walkthrough series i've done two days worth of trivia plus the free crowns and i have 275 crowns now so i can go ahead and buy the heart steel this is probably one of the best purchases you can make with the crowns at the beginning hello with no help just on my own on one account Dude, I'm getting power pips like crazy. What's my percentage now for power pips? So I hope you're ready for your next spell. Since you cannot perform combat here in Ravenwood, go see Kirby Longspear on Colossus Boulevard. Oh no. All right. Well, I've died officially every stream now. you found the scroll of the you give the scroll yes because i'm this is i'm gonna go with at least like when i first started playing the game i could never find spell. someone i fizzled lightning bats too many times today this is death number four now and it hits max Gamer gang represent. What did I say at the beginning of the stream? Or oh, like non side world. Can't believe in like almost two hours I've only leveled up twice. It'll be three times by the time I'm done with it, but. You are in the presence of royalty. Bow or suffer my wrath. <laughs> my goodness dude you'd think that this five percent accuracy would not make me fizzle three 90 percent accuracy spells in one battle <laughs> without spending crowns all right thank goodness all right almost done here all right activate that stuff all right Welcome to the Wizard 101 on a Budget walkthrough series, day number 3.5. Basically, the reason why I wanted to make this is because there is a limited time event in special events going on called the Pet Promenade. This is more than likely a blackberry jellyfish, because most of the ice fish here are going to be blackberry jellyfish. Double pet XP, you can create so many pets during that time, unlimited fishing, you can literally grind it out like crazy. And double reagents, you can literally just spend all your time farming. This will reset in 30 minutes, but obviously I'm going to do the next day for Pet Promenade during the stream tomorrow. Welcome to day four, officially. Garfish Wizard 101. Oh, I actually got a chest. Oh, wow. 638 gold. That's not bad. Got another fire kuda. And yeah, you could definitely teleport. Oh, I got a new fish. What is this? It's a seasonal fish. Whoa. Is this the fish that you're talking about? The rhino beetle fish? I don't think this is the catch of the day, though. Oh, it is the catch of the day. See, this is really good, but I feel like it will still be better because these blackberry jellyfish, once I get that spell, it's a lot easier to, for me to get these because with these rhino beetle fish, I just spent a lot of time trying to get all of them. And yeah, this is a huge amount of gold. In fact, I might even be able to do that 
pet hatch but i feel like in the long run it'll definitely be more efficient to get those fish so if i just have spellproof and dealer just those two talents alone would just be such a huge help uh, Ooh, look at this. It's completely max stats. It's a gloomy eye and it costs 30,000. I think this is worth it. It also has, it also has the best two damage talents. I, I know I need a hatching elixir, but I have a, I have a prose potion from the event, from the pet promenade. I have this prose potion. I'm going to sell here. What's the cheapest one? Actually, I should sell the most expensive one, right? Because like, it doesn't matter how big the blackberry jellyfish is for if I'm using it for golden wheat bread. So yeah, that's that's big brain right there. Sell the most expensive one. Spam this. <gasps> you're right, you're right. This is it. Yes! Let's go! Thank you, thank you. It was 23. Y'all are right. I don't, I don't know what I was reading when I said 22. Thank you, chat. All right, we got a blinking. <gasps> We got a blinking egg! <laughs> yes! There we go! We got a blinking egg! Let's freaking go! I have. Oh, yeah, that's right! I have the. Yeah, you're right! Oh, wait, but I don't have energy. But that's okay, because I can quest. I mean, at the very least, I have an additional death blade, even if I didn't train this at all. I have an additional death blade. Oh! Power, agility, and strength are max. The only stat that's even bad is intellect, and intellect does not affect at all any of the, the talents I need. Yes, this is what I need. Winnow ice fish. And also, I might as well winnow fire fish, right? Because I'm trying to get the barracuda. And reveal the location of rank one fish to avoid those fish. Oh! There we go! We did it! Corroded decoy. Rank six. There we go. This is useful for like certain specific things, but for now I'm just gonna get the summon fish. Common frost lure. And let's also get the common flame lure just so I can get this barracuda as fast as possible. Alright, all these are rank one fish. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Here it is. Okay, there we go. Please. <laughs> Is that? Yes! Finally! Finally! Barracuda! And so, because this fishing event is here, I'm trying to take advantage of it. Oh! There we go! Finally! Todd pull. I got it. Big brain thinking of Mason. Welcome to day five of the Wizard 101 on a budget walkthrough series as a rank lure. There we go. Never mind. We're good. No choke. No choke out here. There we go, we got the ninja fish. There we go. Got the life fish, sumo koi. There we go. No! Oh, my whiz is back. We got the spell, hello. Yeah. All right, so let's see here. Let me unclick all my favorite spells. Let's go to fishing utility spells. Let's uh, first of all reset all fish just to add that to my favorites. Let's uh, go to fishing utility spells. There we go. Here's the Widow rank 2. Scare away all except rank 2 fish. Add that to favorites. Go to fish catching spells. Wait for these fish to go away. Common frost lure. Alright, here we go, Mason. Your insane fishing method in action. Let's see how it works. Alright, let's see here. Yo! There we go! Alright. We just need to sell one more. Let's sell the most expensive one. It is this one. All right. Broom or pony? Broom or pony? I think the pony is better. Like, look at this thing. It would be sick to quest on this. But this... This is like... Yeah, brooms are so Harry Potter, bro. Go with the broom. Oh, no. Pony? Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll do pony. All right. Thick? All right. We got the pony. I should have saved for the lion. Uh. Huh. Maybe I should have. The lion is pretty sick. I immediately regret my decision with getting this chestnut pony. 
especially after chat was like spamming for me to uh not to get something else and i totally like did not pay attention to them so so basically all you have to do is uh widow rank two fish catch all the fish there are sometimes it can be just one um it can be up to four i believe and then you reset all the fish in the fishing hole and then rinse and repeat keep on doing that right there blackberry jellyfish um, i'm just going to demonstrate it like one more time hopefully i get all four just to show you we go to summon fish that respawns all the fish then you go to winnow rank two fish all right that gets rid of all non-rank two fish and yeah so that's why this is best used for unlimited fishing because it probably does get a little bit expensive when it isn't unlimited fishing but yeah you just catch all these blackberry jellyfish they sell for an average of like 5,000 gold and yeah that's pretty much how you get free mega snacks if you're a master artisan or even free gold if you're a lower level wizard that doesn't really have use for them as mega snacks yet yeah i literally have so many that it's not gonna let me sell them there we go <laughs> but the first thing i need to do is go to permanent mounts go all the way down to proud line because this is the mount that people wanted me to buy um i should have waited out for this but anyways let's get it this will be the permanent mount i will use for the majority of the series after 50 minutes i ended up filling up my basket of fish with all these blackberry jellyfish so when i do complete the master artisan quest i will be prepared to uh craft as many mega snacks as i can this member benefit is by far the best member benefit currently for new players hands down anyways i will be continuing on with questing and everything else tomorrow or technically today at this point from 2 to 4 p.m eastern time and i will see you then thank you so much good night